Hey there, Steve from 3D Universe. I'm here to chat about one of our other scripts that we've created. This one is entitled uh, Animation Stripper. Now, Animation Stripper is created, um, it's almost the opposite of an animation because it will remove animation data from a scene. But what, what we quite often find is we, we set up a scene uh, exactly the way we want with the characters, the morphs, the clothing, the hair, the textures, the lighting, everything exactly the way we want. We need to discover that we've actually set it up on some random frame in the uh, animation. And that can just cause all sorts of problems. So you'll see, for example, in, in the scene, I, I have three characters and all of them have clothing, accessories, hair, textures, lighting, everything set up. But you'll see if I pop around to a different uh, Part of my scene you'll see all sorts of things go, go dodgy um, and in fact some of the characters are dialed out and this is just not the the way we want, we're wanting the character to be we're wanting our final scene to look exactly like this and in fact if i just close this down and open up my spotlight for you you'll notice that even the the light color uh, if i move around even the color of the light changes uh, and the, the luminosity um, also changes quite a, a bit across the scene. But at that frame number 30, that's exactly what we're wanting. Um, so what we're wanting to do is we're basically wanting to freeze this entire scene at this frame, but in, to include everything uh, from the, the morphs and the dials and the, the positions, the uh, textures, the lighting. We want everything to be frozen at, at frame 30. And we want frame 30 to then be transferred to frame 0 so that, so that we'd be able to start actually animating our scene. So that's where our animation stripper comes in. So what we're going to do is we're going to select everything in the scene. So we just click and drag to select the whole lot. And that didn't work. Try that again. Okay, click and drag to select everything in the scene. We run our animation stripper. And what animation stripper is going to do is it's going to based on our selection there, it's going to iterate through all of the children and work out exactly what has been set at that specific point in the in the scene. So unlike our other uh, scripts, this one you cannot specify across an animation. This is designed to freeze an animation at the whichever frame you're currently on. So this would freeze everything at frame 30. Now you'll see there's a couple of options here. Uh, at the moment we're including child nodes which is going to uh, process 62 different nodes and you can have a look at all the, the various nodes there so you can see there's there's quite a stack of uh, nodes that it's going to um, go through you'll see it also includes the camera settings the and the lighting settings if i turn that include child nodes off now what it's going to do is it's only going to include the ones that have been selected here the, the main ones so you'll see um, just just the main characters um, it's not going to include any of the hair the clothing or or anything else but for now I want to just do it for everything other options we have here you can see are include camera specific parameters um, that if you turn that off uh, it's going to still include the um, positions of the camera if you've got your camera selected here but it's not going to include depth of field uh, and all of the, the, the other settings similar uh, with the light specific parameters if you turn this off it's going to still and you have it selected here it's still going to uh, include the position and angle uh, at the current frame but it's not going to include the the lumens the brightness the color and all of those other settings so for now we're going to just include absolutely everything and we're going to process and you'll see in the background all sorts of things hop around basically what the app is now doing is it's switching between the two different frames and it's it's adding all of the the various settings that it's, it's worked out changed um, across the animation and it's then removing all of the additional keyframes so you'll see as the the script is running you'll see the various keyframes starting to disappear there as it goes through all of the, the characters and iterates through through the, them all and should be much longer and there we go okay 
so you'll see even even the null nodes that we've we've got for our buttons um, everything has been reset and there is absolutely no keyframes if i drop down our entire scene so you can see i do have it on node recurse um, so it would show any uh, any settings or any keyframes but you'll notice that there's there's no keyframes there at all uh, everything is totally blank and if i was to jump around in the animation nothing is going to change so that is what uh, animation stripper does for you it basically just um, removes a bit of a bluffs and um, you can end up with your scene with everything set the way you want from a specific frame uh, set back to frame zero and all of the random keyframes are removed and yeah you know, i'm going to just show you the final render switch to my nvidia mode and here is the final render thanks for watching